These, of course, are Super Lori Leopard Ball Pythons. Probably some of the coolest snakes that I produced last year. Those ones that are like blue and silver, and looking at a year old, they look absolutely incredible. You guys know yesterday, I was thinking that female was gonna lay, and the mom looked like she was actually starting to push an egg out last night. So let's go ahead and take a peek, and hopefully we'll see a cool clutch of eggs. Let's see, where's mama in here? Ah. No eggs. Well, guess what? I think she's on a clutch of eggs right now. It's going to be absolutely incredible. The Lori Ball Python project is blowing up. People love them. I love them. I can't wait to see what the future is of this. But it is super exciting to potentially produce some more of these guys. The same pairing. Let's hope she has some good eggs. First, before we check her, let's see how many eggs she laid last year. And last year, she actually laid 12 eggs. I didn't remember she laid that big of a clutch. I am so nervous to look to see if she actually has good eggs. Oh, uh, come up. I'm Oh, look at that. Looks like a beautiful clutch of eggs right there. Who doggy? And I tell you what, it looks like there might be 12 again. Certainly a big clutch. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go ahead and set up some egg boxes and pull this mama off these eggs. To this girl i tell you what i am so excited about this you have no idea i'm excited about every clutch that's laid down here but this particular clutch has been something i've been waiting on and you never know about fertility right so the fact that it looks like she's wrapped around a beautiful clutch of eggs just makes my heart just explode i tell you what i could not be happier let's just unravel this girl right here oh my gosh i'm just dreaming of blue and silver snakes now the question is how many eggs it definitely looks like a bunch of eggs guys she definitely has a lot of eggs in this clutch whether or not it's 12 i don't know let's find out so here we go now now, I've got to separate out a bunch of these eggs because they're obviously on top and it looks like she probably laid last night so they're a little bit harder so I have to be really careful and basically what you do is you have to be unbelievably careful pulling these eggs out and I just kind of slowly do this like this and just kind of work my way around wherever there's kind of like the loosest area because you will rip these eggs these red eggs absolutely can rip they don't break like a chicken egg but they tear like leather right so got to be very very careful we'll just get these top eggs off so that the actual egg box can shut but again sometimes like when you have a connection like this right here again I'm just working my fingers into it but boy I tell you it's scary every time I pull the bar I'm like oh no please don't rip I tell you what that is just so spooky because I have ripped a few eggs here and there and these are definitely very dried right now so I'm just gonna get that egg apart that egg and then I should be able to just slowly tear this one apart then I'll probably just have to remove that one last egg right there this egg should be okay I'll remove this egg just to be safe do the same exact thing to slowly slowly do it without ripping it ah oh, tell you what this is patience right here come on oh, almost 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 again just don't want to rip especially that little area right here that's the area that rips the most commonly so we just get this last egg out right here and now if you guys haven't counted while i'm doing this we're gonna count two four six eight ten eleven oh no she only laid 11 eggs this year but last year she had three super lorry leopards that's crazy because in theory only one in six should be a super lorry leopard so in this clutch maybe one two if we're really lucky if we get really lucky maybe we'll hit the odds and hit three or four this year again 57 days from now we're gonna find out i tell you what i am so good and mama you did such a good job i mean what a great great snake that's three years in a row we produced super lorry leopards that is absolutely stunning oh and by the way welcome to the vlog reptile army i hope the start of your day is amazing and by the way reptile army i have a little surprise for you that's right reptile army we have the backpacks here uh, i'm absolutely loving them we're actually going to come out with a couple more designs for backpacks for those of you guys that love back i don't go anywhere without a backpack i also love this design here this is actually a little face mask and i tell you what it's comfy as can be it's got the little adjustable straps it's got some things there's also a couple other reptile army designs there so go to reptilearmy.com go ahead join the army be part of the infantry get out there and tell the world how much you love reptiles reptilearmy.com look at my girl ivy she looks so beautiful the reason she looks so beautiful is of course she shed looks like a nice shed she came out look she's coming up saying dad you gonna feed me today i'm not feeding you girl don't you worry but look at this i love the fact that she always sheds really nice because of course the water basin and she spends all that time in the water what are you doing ivy i'm not feeding you girl she's definitely coming up like she wants some food so in the next day or two we'll go ahead and thaw out a big old pig for her because it's time for a giant meal for her it should be pretty good what are you doing silly monkey what are you doing coming up here i tell you what i definitely think she thinks she's gonna get fed today but she knows she's not ivy stop it ivy that's my girl ivy that's my girl that's my girl 
<laughs> just making sure she knows she's not getting fed. But I would definitely get a good meal here in the next couple days. This shed looks absolutely wonderful. Do I hear snakeshed.com? Maybe it's coming your way. So when was the last time you saw the Super Lori Leopards? Has it been a while? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you. And I've got good news for you too. Number one, aren't they cool still? Oh yeah. They look awesome. Guess what? The mom laid today. So we could have some more Super Lori Leopards coming up here in 57 days. Guess how many eggs? Close, 11. That's right, 11 eggs. So, so it's a mom is a super Lori Leopard? Yep, and okay. then the male's a Leopard, or Lori. All right. So cool, so pretty cool. This it's is a good combo. So what is it like to have a, a ball python named after you? I'm so sick of that question. I know, is it because <laughs> you have such a wonderful husband that would would name a snake after you for so that you're like Lori's for eternity? No, go back and watch the other vlog. It was, you were mocking me is what it was. Don't believe her. It's I did it true. because out of my love for you're, you, I did that. You're a liar. Hey Jay, give me just one little egg time. Thank you very much. Let's jump into it. This today is a beautiful little albino Jelly Brooks King snake. Really gorgeous snake. I mean, just take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous color. Eyes pink as could be. Really cool. We'll get her all cleaned up and ready to roll. Get her some fresh water. Give Mama Snake see if she's got us some good eggs here. Oh yeah. These look like good eggs, there's no doubt about that. So let's see what we have here. Looks like a pretty good number of good eggs too. So I'm just gonna kind of get this moss off of that really quick. Get the rest over here. <laughs> Come on, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. 12, 14, 14 beautiful eggs. Just gonna check to make sure there's nothing else there. But 14 eggs, that's good. And again, I've told you guys before that Brooks King snakes actually hatch about 10 days earlier than most snakes. So about 50 days from now, we're gonna see some little heads poking out. Listen, egg time is amazing, but baby time, way better. And hey, let's go ahead and stick with Brooks King snakes. This one happens to be the opposite end of the color spectrum. This, of course, is an aneurythristic. So that one's that beautiful albino. This is the opposite, which of course is aneurythristic, which I absolutely love. And let's see if this girl gives us any good eggs i sure hope so we'll clean that cage up get water in with her all that good stuff and yep oh my gosh that is gorgeous i mean you know is there just something about that pearly white clutch of eggs i mean i pulled a lot of eggs over the last 30 plus years and i tell you what, i still never get sick of doing it i mean i look at them i'm like oh my god it's so exciting so we'll get these in the egg box we'll go two four six eight ten beautiful eggs that's a, a pretty good day for brooks kings Drogo, what are you doing buddy Hi, sweetheart. How you doing today? It's been a couple weeks since we've rearranged all of his enclosures, so probably in the next week or so we'll have to redo it. But uh, he's hanging out up on his branch today. He's looking down. He is such a cool thing. And it's just such a hit during the weekends when we're open because people can come in and interact with him. And now he's getting to the point where he knows. Hi, Drogo. He knows when people are around, so he's really a lot more active, which is cool because oftentimes when people come in, we give them treats. So now he sees people. Must mean I get some treats, so he crews around. He's really become just such an amazing animal ambassador. Like I mentioned, earlier in the vlog the lorry project is really cool and there's so much potential coming up i mean when you get it into who knows what it's going to be absolutely amazing this is one of my favorites we produced last year this was actually that banana cine lorry i just think those three genes together make an incredibly stunning snake i mean i wasn't expecting it to look like this at all and i was super happy about it and again this is just the tip of the iceberg over the next four or five years bringing these guys into a bunch of different morphs who knows what we're going to get so again can you imagine even this snake bred into a leopard ball pipe on, or a pied or you know guys the list just goes on and on or what is a clown lorry cine going to look like i mean it's going to be absolutely incredible the future so this one was definitely a awesome animal and it's going to be ready to breed next year so this year we're going to produce some pretty cool lorry stuff next year is going to be ridiculous so i know look at talks <laughs> oh, 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 oh. so we're sitting here, uh, we have some friends over from Brian's from North Carolina. We were trying to get the bass go out. His nails are long again. So now we're gonna trim them. Why am I involved? Oh, you wanna come out here and get your nails done? All right, grab him. He doesn't like me actually. Why do I have to grab him? Because I got the boo boo. We missed you. Okay, go from behind. So Can you get the, I know how to get him out, but I'm not tall enough. No, I don't come wanna on, get in there. Come on. I don't do a little pull. Why is he being like that, Mike? He doesn't like you. Whoa. Where that you was just like, sure boom, a ladder. Ladder. That was amazing. Where's your Brian? Where's your Brian? Excuse me, Mr. Brian. We broke some more glass over here. <laughs> What's not? I know. I got to get the poop out of the way. What am I doing with your hands? What am I supposed to do it with? Um, Amulets. Yeah. I wore my... <laughs> <laughs> Amulets. 
I've never been in here. <laughs> we are both scared. He's scared and I'm scared. I'm not. I'm not scared. Hey, grab him. Look, he's good. Good. Ow, take a mic. Take a mic. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ow, my, my other ow, pinky. My hand. My other pinky. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my. Take him. Jay, like Mike, I, I don't have him. I do. I do. Oh, he boo booed my tattoo. He boo booed your tutu. <laughs> Just hold him, Mike. PG. PG. Thank you. Oh. Uh, he's look, he's, he's loving, loving you. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Ew, that was like weakest now. No, I did it on the front. I did it on the back. <laughs> oh, I got my lip. Okay. Only a little bit of blood. It's not bad. That's why I wear these bracelets. They protect me. It's basically like a chastity belt on my wrist. Jesus. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, do me a favor. Right here is a playlist of a bunch of snake eggs hatching. I think that you'll enjoy it. On this side, do me a favor. Subscribe to the vlog channel. Turn those post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.